and gentlemen and our distinguished panelists and happy International Women's Day, everyone. Maybe a big round of applause for all the beautiful women in your life and to yourselves for being here. Uh, we're gonna have a great evening, uh, a lot of uh, insightful dialogue and discussions uh, surrounding many different topics. So we'll talk about that in just a minute, but uh, for the official welcome to you and uh, to introduce uh, what we're about to, to do here and the Indo-Canada uh, Chamber of Commerce, I'd like to call upon uh, Satish Thakkar, President of the Indo-Canada Chamber of Commerce to say a few words. Satish, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you, thank you, Farah. <clears throat> Welcome, friends, uh, to this absolutely fabulous pa panel discussion on the occasion of 101st International Women's Day. I would like to acknowledge uh, uh, some of our board members who are present here uh, tonight with their spouses. Please rise to be acknowledged. Harjeet Kalsi. Kiran Kalsi, we have Nawal Bajaj, Sanjay Makar, we have Ruby Sohi, we have uh, Jagdish Bajaj, Rita Bajaj, and their lovely daughter Nandita Bajaj, Surbhi Guleria Joshi, Kundan Joshi, we have our past president Asha Lutra who was the first woman president in the history of the chamber. And we have event committee members, please, please rise to be acknowledged, if you are inside. Uh, Namita Joshi, Kriti, and all other. And of course, my better half, Rimpal Tucker. Thank you, thank you for joining us this evening. We have truly a very eminent panel of women achievers who will illuminate our evening with the wealth of their experience today. I'm genuinely proud that our chamber has organized this event. It is a first for our chamber, and I'm happy at the wonderful support we have received from our members and the community. For those of you who do not know our chamber, let me briefly introduce it. Our chamber is a 35-year-old institution. It is a premier, not-for-profit, member-funded institution whose primary aim is to foster bilateral ties between Canada and India and to create opportunities for the Indo-Canadian diaspora. We have a coast-to-coast -coast presence and have a thriving membership base. We are also the largest organization of Indo-Canadians in Canada. Nobody can match the grassroots support we get from our community. As a chamber, we have had a hoary record of giving equal opportunities to women who have had a fair representation on our governing board and also on our advisory board for the last three and a half decades. Friends, we as a chamber are committed to evolving more women-centric approach in fulfilling its mandate and achieving its objectives. As an institution, we have kept pace with the changes in our society, and I'm confident that we'll continue to do so in the future, too. We are here to promote entrepreneurship, and as Gertrude Stian had once said, an entrepreneur is an entrepreneur, is an entrepreneur, and it should not matter what size, shape, color, or sex the entrepreneur might be. We have consistently promoted the cause of equal opportunities and equal participation in the entrepreneurial sphere. Our chamber occupies a large space in the promotion of SME sector, and there is a tremendous scope for the women to become SME owners, because this sector provides a perfect homework balance. On our recent India mission, nearly a third of our delegates were women, and out of the four success stories that were reported during the mission, two were 
by women entrepreneurs. In today's globalized business world, women professionals and entrepreneurs don't stand out as an oddity. They have become a natural part of the competitive corporate world. According to Statistics Canada, there are now over 800,000 women entrepreneurs in Canada who annually contribute in excess of $18 billion to Canada's economy. One of the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs in Canada is Women Today. As per CIBC report, on Canada's business scene shows a 50% increase in the number of self-employed women over the last 15 years. Women-owned firms in Canada create new jobs at four times the rate of national average collectively, providing more jobs than the Canadian top 100 companies combined do. Please, a big round of applause to all the women present here. It has been a long road to get there, and obviously, no one is under any illusion that the hard work will continue. And everyone will agree that this is the fertile time for women to make their mark in business. In conclusion, I must reiterate that as a Chamber of Commerce, as the largest diaspora organization of Indo-Canadians in Canada, we are committed to enhancing the participation of women in all spheres of human endeavor and enable them to succeed. It is in our interest that all our women are successful, and I'm looking forward to listening to our panelists sharing their views with us today. And with this, such a high-powered panel, I'm sure that today's panel discussion will be both illuminating and enlightening. Thank you once again for joining us this evening.